no big shots for Wisconsin this season. Orlando Tucker to inbound, 12.1 seconds left, Tulsa leads 60 to 58. Tucker gets it into Harris in the backboard with Parker, 10 seconds in counting. Devin across the line, left side, 8 seconds. Harris across the top, they're chasing him, 5 seconds. Devin runs it out, Owens, 3 ball, left pocket. Terrific job by Devin Harris, showing poise under pressure. He is actually triple team on the right of the key. I mean, they jumped on Harris as soon as he crossed the timeline. It was one on one with Parker, and then Glenn came out, and they tried to trap him on the right of the lane. But Devin didn't lose his composure and was able to dribble out of the traffic, and he found Freddie Owens spotting up all alone in the left wing corner. And remember, this would be the same Freddie Owens who is questionable coming into this ballgame. I love Kevin Harris, and I love Freddie Owens right now. Freddie in the first half, as we said, didn't take a shot. He is two of six in the second half. The Badgers were down 13 points and seemingly down for the count. And now, Wisconsin is one second away from moving on to the round of 16. Oh, what a long second this will be. Again, it's a catch and shoot opportunity. And Mike, unlike the Illinois game, where the Illini had just four tenths of a second, they could catch, turn, and shoot. You might be able to do that now if you're Tulsa. You might have enough time for a quick catch, twist, and shoot. But that's about all you can do if you can't dribble. And again, I would put the ball in the hands of Kevin Johnson. He's made 19 triples this year. He has some range to his game. He's Big six target. Foot, yeah, he's six foot eight. You want to get the ball to your tallest receiver. Trigger man. We have got Johnson and Davis standing at the blocks. Trigger man is Jarius Glenn, and Mike Wilkinson is in his face. Parker and Swanson at the moment of the backcourt. Parker at the near foul line. Swanson near the mid strike. Glenn runs the baseline. Runs right, runs right, and a whistle. And he stepped over the baseline. He stepped over the baseline. And Wisconsin will have the ball with one second left, leading by one. An incredible comeback for the Wisconsin Badgers. Now all they have to do is get it in. And then they're going to Minneapolis. And it was Mike Wilkinson who was checking the inbounder. Devin Harris, baseline right will inbound. Devin Lutz gets it into Owens, and the Badgers move on to the Street 16. They rally from 13 down in the closing minutes, and the Wisconsin Badgers defeat Tulsa 61 to 60. Wisconsin assistant coach Rob Jeter in an embrace of hug with Freddie Owens, the star of the ball game, training the three ball from the left wing corner, beautifully set up by Devin Harris. Everybody knew that Devin was going to have the ball in his hands, and Tulsa overplayed, overplayed Harris to the point where they had three defenders on Harris. Even Swanson, who was responsible for Freddie Owens, cheating in the paint. So when Devin was able to clear himself on the free throw line, Freddie Owens was wide open the corner. There was no way Swanson could make up the ground. There was too much separation. And then it comes down to one player who, again, was questionable coming into this game. We didn't know how much Freddie Owens could play on that sprained right ankle. One player making one big shot to advance this game in the 360. And like we know, Freddie has a history of big shots. We saw it in Minneapolis a few weeks ago. We saw it in East Lansing last year when Owens hit the shot that gave Wisconsin the victory and snapped Michigan State's long home winning streak. This one, however, trumps them all. And we have to talk about Wisconsin's defense, too, because on that final surge, late in the ball game, with the defensive stops, 